Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm doing my project on Benedict's reagent and reducing sugars. Benedict's reagent is a solution composed of copper sulfate, sodium carbonate, sodium citrate, and water. It's used to detect the type of carbohydrate called a reducing sugar. The Benedict's test or Benedict's reagent will react with a reducing sugar and form a precipitate, blue being a negative test and red being a very positive test. There's some in between, some with traits. Reducing sugars. A reducing sugar is a sugar that ha has an aldehyde or a ketone group or a hemiacetyl group. A monosaccharide that has an aldehyde group is known as an aldose, and all aldoses are reducing sugars. Here I've drawn three different molecules. The first one is an aldehyde, the second one is a ketone, the third one is a hemiacetyl, and a hemiacetyl in its cyclic form. So notice that the carbon is bonded to both an OH and an OR. Carbon bonded to an OH and an OR. A reducing sugar has its name because it reduces the copper in Benedict's region from Cu2 plus to Cu plus. An aldehyde, a ketone, and a hemiacetyl, and a hemiacetyl in its cyclic form. Here are some examples of a reducing sugar. Right here I have D-mannose. Carbon is double bonded to an oxygen and a hydrogen. This is an aldehyde. An aldehyde is a reducing sugar. Here we have D glue the OH is on top and H on the bottom. Right here we have CH2OH. Right here you can see that there's a hemiacetyl. It's a carbon bound to both an OH and an OR. A hemiacetyl is a reducing sugar. Lastly, here are two different molecules. This one has hydrogen, bound to oxygen, bound to hydrogen. Here's an OH and an H. Right here, um, this molecule is closed. There's nowhere for anything to bind. Here, it's open with OH on top. And it can be oxidized by um, Benedict's reagent. So this is also reducing sugar. Sucrose, table sugar, like the kind you put in your coffee in the morning, sugar in the raw is my example, is not a reducing sugar. As you see, there is no free aldehyde or ketone or hemiacetyl groups. There's no carbon bound to both an OH and an OR. It cannot easily react with other molecules like this one here that can be oxidized because it's open. See? And this reaction is um, glucose with Benedict's reagent to form gluconoic acid. Notice that the, um, the copper goes from Cu2 plus to Cu plus. And right here, this carbon goes from COH to COOH. Benedict's test can be used to detect diabetes mellulitis with the presence of glucose in urine. It's not always reliable, though, because um, within the test, you must heat up your sample, which can break the glycosidic bonds. In sucrose, for example, when it's heated up, the glycosidic bonds are broken, it's changed to a different molecule, which does reduce Benedict's region. So that's why the test isn't always um, reliable. And that concludes my video for Benedict's region and reducing sugars. Thank you.